whose life is it anyway? A candid look at the human experience. Whose Life Is It Anyway is not a sitcom, but rather a poignant play that has been adapted into different formats, including film and television. The story originated as a stage play written by Brian Clark in 1972 and was later adapted into a film in 1981, followed by a made-for-television movie in 2006. While the play and its adaptations may not fit the traditional sitcom mold, they explore profound themes about life, autonomy, and the human experience. The central narrative revolves around Ken Harrison, a talented sculptor who becomes paralyzed from the neck down following a car accident. Faced with a life drastically different from the one he knew, Ken grapples with questions of personal autonomy, the right to make decisions about one's own life, and the ethical implications of medical intervention. The 1981 film adaptation starred Richard Dreyfuss in a powerful performance as Ken Harrison. The story is set in a hospital room where Ken, determined to assert control over his destiny, seeks the right to refuse life-sustaining treatment. The play, film and television adaptations delve into the moral and ethical complexities surrounding the right to die and the dignity of the individual in the face of severe physical limitations. While Whose Life Is It Anyway is not a traditional sitcom, its exploration of profound and thought-provoking themes aligns more with the genre of drama and tragic comedy. The narrative challenges viewers to contemplate the value of life, the limits of medical ethics, and the importance of personal agency in the face of adversity. The play and its adaptations have sparked discussions about bioethics, autonomy, and the quality of life. They serve as a reminder that storytelling, even when tackling serious subjects, has the power to engage audiences emotionally and intellectually, prompting reflection on the human condition.